Okay, I need a game plan before I go into this episode. Oh my goodness. We left off with just having triplets. I should not have let our son leave the house yet. So then that way we didn't have triplets, but we are officially at 30 children. 30 of my kids, oh my goodness. Okay, I need a game plan. Kayla is taking care of the babies, great. Macy, you need to age up. She needs to get to two more skill levels before it is school time and it is currently Friday at 12.28 a.m. Will she do it? She is a vampire, so she's supposed to be able to get her skills up faster. I'm hoping that she's the one that will age up for sure at school today and um, be able to let me stop the clock because Kayla is now three days until she ages up and I want to go as long as possible with her and I think we're doing fantastic considering she's not even a normal adult yet um, but I don't want that to go up as like come on can we just stay young forever and then now we have Carrie who's always sad because she's lonely um, but she's going to do some knitting. Definitely. And then I I really honestly do not care what Cole and Josh do right now. <laughs> They're not my priority. <laughs> okay. So, break. Oh my goodness. I am so stressed out. Okay. Babies are crying. Oh, I really hope that this works out. But you know what? We'll just have to see and just go with the flow. Okay, how fast is this going up? Okay, you know what? I think I can breathe a little. It is going up quite well as long as she continues to read. I think she'll be okay. Okay, mom, don't just sit there. Go and take care of that one. Okay, Carrie, oh, you're stuck. Well, that's beautiful. Got our daughter stuck in the corner. Um... I'll move that there, and then you can come over here. Come on, girl. Come and sit over here. Okay, fine. Sit on there. Okay, now I can move it. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, perfect. All right. Do some knitting. Resume knitting that, please. Wow, the babies are asleep. Mom, what are you doing? She's going to go and get some water. Um, how about you take care of your hunger needs and then sleep? Macy, oh my God, are you serious? Did you get... She is so close. Okay, Macy can read some other vampire stuff. Josh, mental level three, because he is busy over here. Okay, you know what? They're not stressing me out as bad as I thought they would so far. Josh is a loner. Yes, he is. And that's why he's over here just enjoying himself. You should probably take a shower though, Josh. We have no food either? Mom, you need to cook some food. Clean out some spoiled food there and then do a little bit of cooking. What should we have? Let's make make some more eggs and toast. Oh my god. Did you do it, Macy? Oh my gosh, you are the most beautiful child ever. I love you. <gasps> she discovered plasma packs. Oh, Macy discovered that there is an alternative method for vampires to satisfy their thirst. She can now order plasma packs on the computer. Wow. Oh, you know what? While we're here, and I see all this, let's take all of our Halloween stuff. We'll sell it because we need the money, you know? I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween and everything was nice and safe for you guys. And I definitely want to get rid of this spider. It is freaking me out. Oh. Oh. I didn't even realize that we put the pumpkin right there. Okay, well, we need to even this out so you can come over here. 
Okay, and I'm not going to get rid of this pumpkin carving thing. However, I will move it probably outside somewhere. We'll just kind of put it over here with all this other stuff um, because that actually does get their handiness skill up. And so if we are in a crunch and need to get the handiness skill up fast, I think pumpkin carving would be so fun and the way to go. Okay, knitting skill does not go up too quick. But I love that you have been my golden child and took care of all of us here. I'm gonna have you actually come and cook a salad for us though, Macy. Can she not cook a salad? Where, okay, there it is. Perfect. You can be done reading, Macy, because, whew, double check. She is good to go. She is, oh, she is only an average though. Should we make her just do a project? I think I'm gonna have her do a project. Oh, you're so lonely again. Okay, perfect. Well, you know what? You work on that. And then your sister is going to be, um, yay. She doesn't want to knit right now. Well, girl. Oh, you want to, um, let's add that to her wardrobe. I think that'd be great for her. And then do you want to go and like clean up all this mess? Thank you. Oh no, the baby's crying. Go and change the diaper. Wake up, don't worry about cooking. Worry about taking care of those babies. Oh, are you setting the table like a handsome little guy that you are? What a cutie patootie. Such a great kid. You know what? I knew that our Josh was gonna be such a nice boy. And you're hungry, but don't you worry. Your sister is taking care of that. Mom, oh no, the other baby. Go change its diaper. Oh, yep, Macy's just putting her earwax in things. You know how it goes. <sighs> Macy, I am so proud of you. You are seriously my relief. Oh, but he's cleaning up. Look at him. You are just awesome. We'll have him set the table again, and then maybe he'll come over here and like mop like mad. Oh, Kayla is in a very flirty mood. She is feeling herself right now. Like, girl, don't worry, because Macy has done everything in her power for us. And I'm so proud of her. But Macy, I need you to come out here and uh, start working carefully on that. Then we're all gonna come in and help you. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing and come and assist with the project. Look at that, everyone is working on this. <laughs> we need to make sure. Perfect, look at that. She's got the check mark. Our wall is full, oh no. And it is love day. Oh no, mom, you need to worry about the kids. You can be done doing that. Oh, super fishing baby care this baby. And then I don't know what's wrong with you. Find out what's wrong with that child. Okay, what is wrong with you, honey? Joy, what's going on? Needs to just be talked to, okay. And the project is finished? What a great job. Oh no, you're still upset? Okay, let's feed you and change you. I'm gonna have mom just like talk to her, you know, talk to her about some cooking and sing about love day with her. Make her feel so much better. Cause our daughter is lonely. Harry, it's okay. You're off to school. Okay, all the kids are off to school. Oh no. I'm so, 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 so sorry, Cole. Okay, make sure you guys study hard for mom, okay? And of course, a baby is crying. Oh, Carrie is happy though, so I'm happy about that. She is feeling so much better. Oh, exchange secret love day cards. Okay. 
For Love Day, Cole decided to handcraft a card for their crush complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Cole just needed to decide if he should slip it, let it slip, that it was him who made the card, or secretly drop it in the cubby. Cole seems like he's a little bit on the more wild side. I think he'll boldly deliver the card. Oh. What happened with Cole? I don't know, but decorating for a Love Day dance. When the teacher asked for volunteers to help set up for Love Day dance, Carrie was quick to raise her hand. Not only would she get out of class for a few hours, but she'd be given a unique opportunity. Okay, decorate for the best day ever. Oh my goodness. Everyone's having a crazy busy Love Day. Tissue paper flowers. In celebration of Love Day, Josh's class made tissue paper flowers. The teacher asked all of the students to give their flower away to someone special. Now, Josh just needed to think of the right person. Um, give flowers to brighten a day. I feel like Josh would do that. Oh my goodness. Macy's now decorating for the dance too. I think they would both work on doing the best day ever. And apparently our mailman couldn't reach our mailbox. Excuse me. <gasps> Cole's crush didn't even know he existed. This was an opportunity to change that. Cole bypassed the cubby in favor of a hand delivery. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to find his crush on the playground. By the time Cole gave up and returned to his cubby, the crush's book bag was gone and the entire opportunity had been lost. You know what? It's okay. It's just lost for today, my dear, but it's not lost forever. Oh, Carrie went with hopes ablaze. She planned to make the best day love day dance ever. That was before she saw that she had to work with crumpled decorations, no snacks, polka music. To make matters worse, nobody else had volunteered. When the dance started, everyone blamed Carrie for the lame time they had. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, Carrie. After school, Josh spotted a sad girl sitting on a bench. He walked over it and extended the bouquet of tissue paper flowers. Upon seeing the gift, her face lit up and she gave Josh the biggest hug ever. The teacher was right. It was so rewarding to make someone else's love day special. Oh, that's our Josh. See, Josh is such a sweetheart. Macy might have been tasked with setting up for a Love Day dance, but instead, she'd been setting up for THE Love Day dance. With a, fur, with a flurry of banners, streamers, cookies, and punch, not literally, that would be messy, Macy decorated the gym for a Love Day dance that would be remembered for years to come. Oh, Carrie had a hard time. You know what? She was a little bit lonely and stuff and then Maisie comes in and she saves the day and helps her sister in the end of the day everybody was happy and I'm happy with that story and that's just what I'm telling myself okay you need a dirty diaper change change your diaper oh no I don't like it when the phone rings Ooh, bathroom sandwich oh we found Carrie in the bathroom stall today eating a sandwich which is unexpected and we're not sure what to make of it but figured we should call oh that's just wrong raise manners when you're hungry and need to go okay excellent time management I feel like Carrie needs to work on her emotional control so I'm just gonna say excellent Good job. I mean, you figured out a way around that. Oh my God, now who's crying? And what do you need? Oops, I meant to say feed. But we'll change your diaper anyway. We need to write a love email to the one and only Josh, who will be our next baby dad. We need to let him know this is kind of crazy, but hopefully at the end of the day, you and me will be enjoying some time together. Rar. Okay, mom's gonna actually try and finish writing her story here. While the babies are asleep and the kids are at school, it's something that she can do very quietly and help us with some money. And that was very shortly lived because we have a stinky baby over here. Our kids are having such a rough day. They are exhausted. They are desperate for fun. 
such poor babies. I worked on them so hard over the night. I feel so bad. Okay, the kids are back from school. They look so rough. Oh, Carrie, you look so upset. Okay, but I need to know. Let's take a look at this. Oh my God. No, Macy is in like failure of her energy. She's an A student. Let's go. Okay, Carrie, you're a B student, but you know what? You'll get there tomorrow. I'm okay with that. Cole's a B student. Josh is a B student. But what we were worried about, we do not have to worry about now because this grumpy little girl here has done it. Okay. I am going to have Macy go to sleep because she is very tired. She probably won't make it there. You also need sleep. So I'm going to have you just sleep. Then you guys need to have some fun. Um, Yeah. How about you can like watch some TV? Get in here, kids. You earned a good rest. Now she's sad and mourning the loss. No, don't do that. Girl, you were in a happy mood. Mom, I need you to make a cake. Can you do that for me? Because I don't think we have one. And I'm not even going to attempt to mess around with it. Do a hamburger cake. Sure. Oh, no. I cannot handle the phone ringing right now. Let you know that Enzo has passed away. Oh, no. Okay, can we super efficient baby care that baby? And you need a diaper change? Oh, my gosh. Okay, Macy, you need to do mom a favor. I need to take care of these children, but you need to come here and add some birthday candles and age up and get out of my house. <laughs> oh, she's giving attitude also. Okay, well, blow out your candles. Girl, you did it. I know, it's so sad. <gasps> there you go. Yes, Macy. I'm so proud of you. Okay. <sighs> Our lactose intolerant daughter is non-committal. That's okay. I mean, she doesn't want to be, you know, tied down. She wants to do her vampire-y things. Okay. Our Macy <laughs> wants to have all the pranks and mayhem in her life. She's lactose intolerant, non-committal, but she is an art lover. That is our girl, and I am so happy for you. I love you so, so much. But you know what? Mom has got to get a photo with you because you need to move out of my house. Thank you. Okay, Macy is now moved out of the house, so we can call over our special someone. Invite to hang out at the current lot. Josh, where are you? There he is. Josh, we love that you would come over now, finally. <gasps> hun wants to go on a date. Sorry, sorry, hun. We can't. We cannot go on a date. Try fur baby with Josh. Instantly. We're just not even going to do anything else, but be like, yo. He's like, I would love to celebrate Love Day in that way. I've been waiting. Oh, yeah. He's walking all confidently. He's ready. You know, he's... He has delivered so many babies. He's he knows exactly what to do to make this baby. OK, you guys do this and have fun. Of course, the baby's crying. Super efficient baby care of the baby and then maybe take a pregnancy test as soon as you're done and able to. OK, super efficient baby care of that baby mom and then pregnancy test. Josh, you go ahead and go and eat up the rest of our food in our house because we know you will. Come on, mom. Yes! Eating for two! We did it! We have stopped the clock three days. Nice. I'm so, so happy about that. We're gonna come over here and let him know. Listen, it worked! Are you happy about that? Yibs, 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 yibs. He is excited. Okay. I gotta go to sleep, Josh. That was eventful. Thank you for everything. Oh my god, mom, you can't even go to sleep. What do you need now? Change your diaper. Oh, Josh, what are you doing? Josh is talking to Josh. Oh, look at that. Josh is like, yo, dude, I'm named after you. And he's like, uh-huh. Look at that. He's like, oh, were you just in bed with my mom? Yeah, we were just, you know, we were just 
having a little bit of pranks and stuff, you know, being a little mischievous. Oh my God, it's almost their birthday and then we're gonna have so many toddlers. Okay, use the bathroom. You need to do that first and then you can take a bubble bath. That should take care of all of that. And then you can eat something. Oh my gosh, I know you need to have fun, Carrie. Are you leaving now, Josh? Perfect. Josh has left, so he's not eating even more of our food. Look at that. What a maniac. Oh, actually, I'm going to have the other, our son, Josh, uh, take care of that. Who else does she know? Oh, my gosh. We're having so many people die. Oh, Harvey. Maybe we'll send a little love email to Harvey. Oh, look it. I got a tulip for you. She loves it. Okay, you're hungry. Go and grab a serving and she needs to have some fun. I'm gonna have her just watch TV. Mom is gonna just do a bunch of cooking, clean out some spoiled food and then cook a whole bunch. How you doing? Okay, she's gonna have fun doing that. She likes doing her knitting stuff, so that's good. It just goes up way slow. Uh, okay, well if you have to go potty, super efficient baby care of the baby first and then use the bathroom. Mom, we have another baby upset. Oh my gosh, change the diaper. It is okay, Joy. She can now knit some socks. Oh, cute. Okay, Mom, can you write another love email? Like, let's go and write another love email to Harvey. I am honestly so glad that it is actually the weekend because I was worried about the fact that we weren't going to be able to age up our other children and they were just going to have a rough day and a rough go. Oh, and I wonder if she's got anything from her pen pal. I'm going to have her check for some pen pal replies. See if, like, if anybody has messaged her. And then Josh, mom really wants to work on, like, getting your responsibility and all this good stuff up. But when you wake up, how about you go and set the table in a fancy setting? I love how like quiet our toddler room is. It's just sitting here all perfect, ready to go. And speaking of ready to go, when do these kids age up? It is actually their birthday today. <gasps> yes, it's their birthday, but no, not really yes. Oh, it looks like they got a new pen pal from Bridgeport. Okay, what does she do with that? Socialize. Write a letter to Bridgeport. There. Mom's trying to sleep again, but I don't want her to. I want her to come over here and teach some things to Josh. Teach him to say please and thank you and all that good stuff. Oh, encourage his recent behavior. Encourage him doing dishes. What a cutie patootie. Oh, influence him to clean up some toys. Knit some more beanies. Oh, okay, so we have three girls, so she's gonna knit some beanies for them. I think that would be so cute, having Carrie knit for the little siblings that she has before she leaves. And how are you doing? What are you even working on? Oh, your social skill. You're still good. And you also need to get your homework done, though. So, I don't know. Do your homework while you're doing that. Oh no, Kayla, somebody's calling. Okay, good. Glad to know you guys had a great time. Are you still talking to him while he's trying to take a shower? Raising his manners and stuff? Am I done that one yet? How do I do it? How do I go into full parent mode? You would think with all these children I'd have that done by now. Okay, now the other baby's crying. Bottle feed the baby and change its diaper. Oh my goodness, okay. Yes, it worked! We achieved um, our go into full parent mode. Perfect. <laughs> okay, now we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Cole, what are you working on? You're gonna go and do your homework. Okay, don't go to for 40 winks. Just bunker down, mom. <laughs> bunker down, you need it. Josh is working over here on this. Um, what else can we do to get things up? Responsibility. His empathy is going up quite well and manners. Um, what do we do for responsibility? Taking out the trash, brushing teeth, cleaning the toys from the toy box. Okay. You can brush your teeth. Maybe we'll just have him brush his teeth a whole bunch. Oh, Claire, it's okay. We'll just super efficient baby care you. 
And then mom, you need to swab the deck over there. You're just gonna sit on the ground and do your extra work? Okay, Carrie, we really need you to get your skills up here. Take a wee dip in the in the shower there and then come over here and uh, eat some food. Josh is just, you know, worrying about cleaning everything up. But then, you know what? Our little man decides he's going to bunker down. He deserves it. How are you doing with all of this? His manners, responsibility, empathy. So basically his responsibility needs to get up better. But he's doing perfect. And we can actually age up our kids today. It hasn't told me it's their birthday. So we'll wait until this evening and then we will age up <laughs> our triplets because I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to have a whole bunch of toddlers running around. I think mom should invite to hang out at the current lot. Um, the newest guy that we're going to work on <laughs> because we want to get to be good friends with him. We have a good romance going on with him, but not enough friendship. So give him a pep talk. Who are you talking to, dude? Okay, that's why, because he's erratic. So he's just going to kind of be all over the place. Oh, Carrie, can you take care of the baby for me? Bottle feed it and change his diaper. Who's this? Somebody else just showed us up at our door. Should we embrace him a little bit? He's in a playful mood. He likes fitness and so do I. Let's discuss some things like that. Oh my God, did you see that look that he gave? He was like, lady, I came over to hang out with you. <laughs> oh, it's Lacey's birthday. Time does fly, doesn't it? Oh man, this dude is not happy and you're kind of killing the vibe over here. Are you a vampire? Oh no, mom. Okay, that's okay. The baby is upset, but we will just completely age this child up. Lacey, it is your turn, my dear. You are going to age up and be a beautiful toddler. It is now your birthday. Lacey is our little charmer. Aw, look at her. She's so cute. I love her hair. Okay, Claire, you're next. We'll age up Claire as well. Look at Lacey's first steps. What a cutie. And she's our little angel child. Yes. Definitely need to change your outfit. <laughs> I can't have you walking around like that. <laughs> Interesting. She's got such short hair. So sweet. Okay, now it's time for you to age up. <laughs> Come on, Joy. Joy is silly. Oh, I don't know if I've had a silly one. Goofy and curious. These toddlers love to tell jokes and get playful. They earn imagination skills slightly faster. Oh, she is so cute. She is very, very cute. I love it. And look at that outfit. Rocking it out, girl. So many toddlers in the house now. Okay, mom, let's get rid of these bassinets so the game doesn't think that we want triplets again. So we definitely don't. How about you come over here and play dolls and then Joy, you can also play dolls. And mom, we can potty train. Claire, mom's gotta go potty herself soon, but that's okay. They're gonna be tired, so you're gonna go to sleep here. You can sleep there, and then you can come up here and sleep. Perfect. Now we definitely need to be cooking a lot more food also. Wow, can you believe it? We have three toddlers in the house, and Kayla is getting ready to have more children. She's pregnant right now, and then you know what? Harry is going to be out of the house on Monday. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Josh over here is just doing the dishes like a handsome little man that he is. Such a great kid. Oh my goodness. I knew he was going to be our perfect little boy. Okay, how about you set the tables again in a fancy one? We like that. We like the fancy table. I am hoping that I can get Josh 
well on his way with having three positive character values. He's like, something smells. Is it his sister? Yeah, she smells, but that's okay. You give her a nice compliment. Should she knit us something? Let's do a, um, a lavender mailbox thing. That would be cute. It's the morning now, so we can probably chat with Harvey. I like to chat with my guys from a distance, you know? All right, the kids are doing pretty good. You're gonna be a little bit hungry, so I'll have you come and grab a serving. You're probably gonna be hungry too, so you can also grab a serving. We'll just feed our children right now. And then they are able to work on some more skills. Wow, we are getting up there with our money. I like it. Okay, he's gonna be working on another project. I'm gonna get him a project because I think that will help him also. Let's have him work on this one. I feel like he would enjoy it. Go and start working carefully on it. And it is a scorcher out right now. Heat wave. Ooh, mom, you should probably set that to a little bit cooler because everyone's going to overheat. Oh, and I need to get more of these little chair thingies. I need to be able to have my kids sit near the table. There, we kind of got them spread out everywhere. I think that'll be nice. Do you want to assist your brother with the project? That'll be good. Oh, hey, cool. Look at it. There's a friend. He wants to be our little social butterfly. You go into a friendly introduction. How about that? Are you really being mean to your sister? Ugh! Josh, you're supposed to be being nice. Your manners went down. Can't have your manners going down. Oh my gosh, Carrie. I'm gonna have Carrie be done here because Josh and her are just arguing with each other. Carrie, go over here and knit, okay? Oh no. Lacey, why are you sad? Where is everyone? We're right here. Mom is holding her back. Does that mean that you're getting close to having your baby? Oh, you can't dislike that. Oh my goodness, girl. Look at all of us just teaching these toddlers some things. Josh is worrying about his uh, manners and such. You know, he's doing a great job brushing his teeth. Lazy is a little sad, but that's okay. Soon as they're done with their potty skills, then they don't have to worry about mom pestering them anymore. Oh no, he's throwing away the pumpkin. I forgot to preserve that one. That's funny. My entire household is sleeping. Look at this. It is so quiet in the household for once. Everyone is asleep. They're all doing so good. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Considering our rough start with our triplets, I think this is perfection that we got it so quiet in this household. Kayla can give birth anytime now and I'm so excited for that. Our little loner child, he just likes to clean up, play with his dolls, <laughs> not worry about anybody else in the household but himself, you know? But he is secretly doing everything for the household. That's the thing that is so perfect about him. Oh no, you're up and you're sad, and you're up and you're sad because you're all hungry. Oh my God, you're really hungry. All right, toddlers are awake and they are gonna go and eat. We can put this up for mom. Love it. Put another one right here. We'll sell that one because we now have this one that our daughter did for us. And I think it's so cute. Oh, it's time for school. Okay, you're just going to the bathroom. You're heading off to school. All of my kids are going to school. And look at that. Carrie has finished her knitting project. Yeah, you kids better get running. I know, it is rainy out there. Probably should have grabbed an umbrella. Mom's doing that thing again where she doesn't really know what she's doing with herself, so she just kind of stops tasks halfway through. She's got that pregnancy brain going on. All right, one after the other, we also need to give them a bath. 
So let's give a bubble bath to Lacey when we're done showering her. Oh no, the phone's ringing. It looked like a... During free time, Cole drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to his classmates. It was... It caused a lot of giggling and disrupted the rest of the school day. Cole! Okay, well, you know what? Take the drawing and punish him. He should not have been doing that in the middle of school. Okay, mom's going potty. Oh, which one of you made a mess? Oh my goodness, was it you? Lacey, did you make a mess? You did make a mess. So ask her not to make a mess. And then I'm gonna have to give a bubble bath now to Joy. Josh is gonna get home from school and see this big mess around the house. We got puddles and paint and dirty dishes and he's gonna be like losing his mind. Be like, what is going on? Raids are up, let's check it out. Okay, you're all run inside, hurry. It's storming out, get inside. Okay, you can go and grab a serving. Now let's check it out. So Carrie is an A student. Cole's an A student. Josh is an A student. Perfect. Okay, mom. Um, no, actually, Carrie. Let's take out the cake because I'm pretty sure we still have one in there. Carrie, it is time for you to age up and move out of the house. Why are you all so sad? Okay, go to sleep. <laughs> You're all so tired. And why are you sad? You're gonna just cry? Go to sleep. You're all so tired. I'm gonna have all of you just sleep, okay? Oh, I didn't even... I missed it. Carrie aged up. Okay, Carrie is a goofball. Wow. And she is also... Uh, what? Oh, Carrie wants to have a soulmate. She is a bookworm vegetarian and a goofball. Let's go... Awesome, Carrie. I'm so proud of you. I was busy. I know I was taking care of the kids, but you know how it is Okay, Cole, it is your turn now that you're walking over here come and blow out your candles Because you're also an a student Here we go Cole. I'm so excited. I Hope he still has this like funky look going on for him. Oh, he does. Look at that. He's loyal. No way. Cole's a loyal child. I love that. Oh, painter extraordinaire. So he wants to be a painter, which makes sense because he's an art lover and he's a loyal boy. Look at you. Nice long hair. He's got the nose ring going on. That's awesome. Okay. Come on, Josh. It's your turn to blow out your candles. Woohoo! Mom is asleep. That's okay. She is almost having her baby. So Josh can do what he wants. Josh is a bro. So he's a loner who is also a bro. Oh my goodness. It's our very first werewolf. Look at that. He wants to unleash his inner beast and become a werewolf. He is also a loner and a bro. Oh my gosh, look at him. I adore it so much. I love his, like, how he pulled his hair back, you know? He still has some long hair, but he's officially pulled it back. That is a cutie patootie. Okay, you two, you know what that means, though. Homework time. Oh, but you know what that means, Carrie? Oh my goodness. We're just gonna gift all of the stuff that she has... Uh, knitted to mom and see how that goes and Carrie gets to be in her own household too because everywhere else is full Poor Carrie. She like has it so rough though <laughs> She doesn't like being alone. She has such emotional like not good control over that and now she's moved out on her own Oh my goodness, Kayla has gone into labor. Oh my God. Okay, so she is going to finish cooking this food and then she is going to kind of repair up the um, the sink a little bit here and then she is going to be off 
to the hospital to have the baby. We gotta go over here and check in. Okay, mom, here it goes. Oh no, look at Josh, he's running in. Josh is like, oh no, our baby is here. Yes, it is, Josh. He's like, hurry up, get on this table. Why did you try and fix the toilets and the sinks when you were there? I don't know, because I'm used to it, Josh. Okay, the most we can have is twins. <laughs> okay, what is this one gonna be? He looks like he's playing some sort of a game, not necessarily delivering this baby. I don't know if that's how this works, you know? It's a boy! Okay, I'm gonna name this baby Noah. I think Noah's a good name. I'm gonna look, I don't, yeah, we haven't had a Noah. So I'm going to name him Noah. And we have another boy. Okay, since we have Noah, I'm gonna name this one's Arkin. I feel like that would be funny. There we go, Noah and Arkin. <laughs> Ark, Noah's Ark. Oh my God, I don't know, I'm, I'm silly. Okay, congratulations. We got Noah and Arkin. I'm so excited. Let's uh express our ad admiration to him. Be like, look at Josh, we have our baby boys. Good job, Josh, on giving us twins in a full household again. Whoopi Gorge. Oh, he's instantly in a flirty mood. We'll just give him a hug and such before they kick us out and head back home. There we go. Thank you for delivering our baby, Josh. Okay, um, so now we need to be able to get these dudes out of our house. <laughs> I feel like that's all I've been doing is just kicking my kids out. Be like, hurry up, get out of here. Okay, and of course they put the babies in there. Like, is it not obvious that this is their nursery or something? I mean, not really. It's not that great of a nursery, so. I definitely need to fix up the nursery. And you both need to be fed. Okay, how about you come over here and bottle feed for mom and change that one's diaper? That'll help me out so much. While you all are crying and scared. Can you um check the toddlers, please? They're all so tired. Okay, what skill do you need to get up? You haven't even started on a skill yet. And he's scared, okay. Oh, an excellent painting. Perfect. You want to be a painter, so we're gonna have him do some paintings here. Okay, we purchased a whole bunch of books. So now we can probably read some of those werewolfy kind of stories. Okay, we're definitely not going to get the kids aged up today. I don't see it happening. Um, but we do have our sweetest little babies here. Noah. We'll take care of him. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one here. We have another full household. Uh, but you know what? The toddlers are doing very well. And mom has her new babies and our boys are doing perfect. Josh is so close to being our golden child. We just need to get his empathy up a little bit more. And then he is perfect for our aspiration to be complete with him. Look at him. He's teaching him their little sister. Don't mind Joy. She cries a lot. That was probably not the greatest name for her. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!